Hey, this is the Ballantine Prospector, and uh, I know a lot of you have been emailing me to do more videos, and I promise I'm going to get a lot more out, uh, especially the adventures that I've been uh, that I've been going on. But uh, I wanted to show you, and this was a question from somebody in Nevada, on how do I uh, get my fine golds out of my concentrates, and uh, I've developed. Uh, well, obviously, it's it's a blue bowl system, but I utilize a blue bowl with a a Fossickers pan. And what this allows me to do is is you know any any gold that gets through the blue bowl system falls down into the Fossickers pan, and there's riffles here. And very well, gosh, I can't imagine hardly any gold getting past that. So let me show you how I get to that process. All right, the first thing that I like to do is classify the material down with a a twenty mesh pan. So uh, I've got just a very small sample here, and this is actually uh, something that my son had found, my 10-year-old son, and uh, I'm going to utilize these concentrates just from his panning. So I'm going to uh, put a pan down, put my 20 mesh screen, and, uh, and then just hose this through. Okay, now anything smaller than 20 mesh is now into this pan, which I'm going to put right into my blue bowl. I'm going to move that over, and then I'm going to take over here, and then I'm going to flip this over because I want to pan this out just in case there was a nugget larger than 20 mesh. Okay, there's my material that is larger than 20 mesh, and here's my material smaller than 20 mesh, which I am going to put into my, my blue bowl system. Let's go try it. Okay, let me just show you how I have this set up. Obviously, I've got my standard blue bowl, and how this works is water comes in and uh, it does a, a whirlpool effect. All the light materials come down through a hole down into here, and then they come into my phosphorus pan, and as you can see here, it has a, a ripple system, just like uh, a sluice. And uh, then the material has to run down through that uh, into my tub, which has a recirculating little small pond pump right here that uh, pumps the water right back up. The first stage of getting my fines out of my concentrates is the blue bowl. And it is very important that you do have this absolutely level because that'll make, make sure that all the material is evenly leveled throughout your blue bowl and that it's going through the center correctly. So I'm going to always check that and I check that quite frequently. The second is the water flow. Right now it's just a tad bit too much, but you'll learn uh, over time and playing with it and experimenting which water flow makes the best. But, but I, I like to have it a little bit higher because I know that any material is going to fall down into my Fossickers pan and not going to escape. And of course, I will either run this through the blue bowl again at a, at a slower pace or I'll just pan this out. So let's start testing some material. All right, I've heard of, uh, of a million different ways to, to insert your material into the blue bowl. Uh, putting it in front of the flow, behind the flow, you know, putting it in and then turning the water on, whatever it may be. Uh, I like to just kind of spoon it in. And uh, so I'm going to take, take it here and, and just kind of drop it in and just gradually uh, let it fall through without, without trying to disrupt the, uh, the water flow. So there you can see the uh, material going in. I'm going to put one more spoonful. And I'm not real worried, like I said, about any gold getting out uh, because I do have my, my safety pan below. So let's, uh, let's give this a try and see how it, uh, see how it goes. You can see the material coming up the cone and out, and that's all the lighter material. All the gold will stick around. Matter of fact, there's a piece of gold right there that you can see. A couple of pieces. Now, obviously, this was all this was all gold that my son was uh, was panning. So, let's see what we come up with. You can see when the material falls out through the blue bowl, comes down into my Fossickers pan, and then really acts like a sluice. Uh, you know, you can see a lot of black sand 
uh, caught up in these riffles right here. Very, very rarely do I have any gold that makes us this far. Uh, you know, I'm looking up here and I see uh, several gold flakes up here uh, in, my, in my blue bowl pan. But I'm going to add a little bit more material and uh, let's see what we find. All right, here's a great example of what, uh, what we come out. There's, there's three specks here, not, nothing, nothing major, obviously, but one, one right there, one right there, and one right there. But, uh, you know, one thing I will do now is, is run this through a smaller mesh because what ends up happening is you can see there's a lot of, a lot of some, well, basically a lot more heavies in here. And if you're truly looking to get down to very, very fine flower gold, what happens is if, if there's larger rocks, and you know, not large at all by 20 mesh standpoint, but if it's larger than the flower gold, as these rocks go around, they will dislodge any flower gold. So if you're really truly trying to get down to that lower flower gold, you do want to do a 50, 60, you know, 80, even 100 mesh. Uh, so you make sure you have all these larger pieces of debris in your blue bowl out of the blue bowl so it doesn't knock that flower gold out. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is my fine gold cleanup system with the blue bowl and the Fossicurse pan. And uh, not trying to show you a bunch of gold today, really more just to show you how the, the system works and it, and it does work very, very well for me. So hope you enjoyed the video and I promise I'm gonna have a lot more this summer coming out of some of the adventures out in the field. Thank you.